It was a very good job because I was, quite frankly, my own governor. Everybody seemed to be scared of talking about finance. And uh, occasionally when I used to go to the branches and uh, going to see a difficult customer or something like that, uh, the representative said, well, look, I'll stay outside, Jim, you go on in. They're all frightened of uh, finance. But uh, I, I got on with it. On one occasion, I went to Liverpool uh, to see a very difficult customer. I, I think we had been in the wrong, and it was a you know time for apology and all that sort of thing. Anyway, I went up there and saw this uh, this chap shown into his office, and to my horror, all around the walls were pictures of Liverpool Football Club. Now I've been an Arsenal supporter since I was about five, so I just stopped and looked and didn't say a word. But I went and turned every photograph round to the wall. And this chap looked at me as I was like, any bloody crackers. You know, he, he, was, he was ready for a, a fight anyway. So I said, I, I said, I, would you explain, sir? I said that I'm an Arsenal supporter and I don't think we could have a proper conversation with all those teams looking at me. And he burst out laughing. And the meeting after that went like a charm. So just one good thing about being a, a football supporter, wherever you go, you've always got something to do and uh, something to talk about. We had another, had another bloke came from the message from the time office. Uh, there's a chap down here wants to pay some money. So uh, always anxious to receive money. So I went down and saw this chap and he said, I've come to pay my father's debt. So I said, oh, I said when was this? Uh, so he said, uh, 1936, he said it was uh, 50 odd pounds, he said, and I've bought it for you. Well, 50 odd pounds in 1936 was quite a bit of money. So I said, well, look, I said, it's very nice of you. I said, but this debt has been written off. I said, uh, if I search for it, I could probably find it. I said, but it's water under the bridge. So I said, no, he said, I, I insist. He said, I promised my father I would pay it, so I've come to pay it. I said, well, that's very nice of you. And rather reluctantly, I, I, I took the money, shook hands with him and wished him well. So I put the money in the Sundry's account. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing he honoured his promise. Yes. Even then. Yeah.